Hello there. Today uh, we're going to be making a video on uh, Windows 7. Uh, it's actually a video for all copies of Windows, but uh, I'm making it on Windows 7 because that's the newest operating system. It's how to install a new hard drive. So let me show you the uh, hardware here. Took some pictures. Uh, drag this up. This is a uh, couple of hard drives. This is what hard drives look like in the wild when you buy them from the store. Uh, side view and uh, by under side view. So uh, I want you to look underneath the case because there are two main types of hard drives. There's more than two types of hard drives, but uh, if you're watching this video, you've probably got one of these two. So you should definitely open up the case and look at your current hard drive uh, while the computer's off to figure out which one that you're using. The, uh, the older version is a PETA, a PETA hard drive, or known as an IDE hard drive. Easily recognizable by these 40 pins. There's actually 39 here. Number 17 is missing, wherever it is. And um, sometimes you have to set jumpers accordingly, but that's pretty old machine, and you probably shouldn't buy a hard drive if you have to set jumpers. Uh, generally down here it'll say CS for cable select, so just leave it on CS. Uh, as opposed to over here where it'll say master or over here where it'll say slave and I'm not really sure what this fourth option is going to do but you're going to have to look on my hard drive I know it's listed right here I just have to shine the light against it to see it and uh, that's the power connector so this is a a SATA hard drive it's easily recognizable because this is the power connector and it's L shaped and this is the uh, data connector no, I'm sorry, this is the power connector. It's L-shaped. This is the data connector. It's also L-shaped. The uh, cable is much more narrow. You can see this one's a nice wide cable. And the, uh, the cable on this one's about the width of your pinky. It's got jumpers over here. Uh, they don't do really a whole lot of stuff. But uh, make sure you buy the right hard drive because I've seen too many people buy the wrong hard drive. And it doesn't work. So now that I'm in Windows 7, it says that it, there's a new virtual hard drive and it's driver installed successfully. So what I need to do is right click on my computer, manage, and uh, we're gonna format this hard drive as soon as it comes up. Uh, we gotta partition the hard drive, which means we gotta set um, storage space on it, and then format it, which is what enables it to store data on there. So go to disk management, and as soon as I do, it should pop up with a message. Yeah, so I must initialize a disk. But I don't want to go through the GUI here. What I want to do is I want to right-click, initialize disk. And this is a new feature of Windows 7. I've never seen this before. So uh, once the disk initializes, this is only a 16 gigabyte drive, but uh, I can do a new simple volume. Next, we'll say 8 gigabytes. Give it the letter of E, or don't give it a letter. I don't have to. Uh, this is an option when you have dynamic disks, but I don't like dynamic disks, so I don't recommend it to a lot of people. I'm just going to choose the letter E. Next. Uh, I want to do a quick format, and uh, I want to format it with either NTFS or FAT32. If I want it to be available to other operating systems, I need to use FAT32. If I want it to be uh, available only to Windows operating systems, it'll be NTFS. Other operating systems can read NTFS, but they can't write to it. So, uh, And then allocation unit size, that's the uh, size of the storage data kind of like thinking of uh, how big are my pages are going to be in my notebook where I'm going to write my data. So if I'm writing something really small like limericks, I don't want it to take up a lot of room. But uh, So I would go with 64Ks. But if I'm writing epic poems, uh, I want to go with, you know, 4096 because I can only record one thing in each unit. So if I'm writing short limericks, I'm wasting a lot of space because I can only put one limerick on each page. Uh... I can give it a volume name, but we'll just leave it at that. Next, and finish. And uh, it's going to format the hard drive. 
that's it right here it's formatting right now and uh, this section over here is unallocated space so I can make another partition over here let me uh, pause this while this fires up oh well there we go new basic raw formatting and uh, here in a minute it's going to say letter E and uh, there we go NTFS letter E primary partition which means it's the uh, the master partition on the hard drive uh, that means you can only have four partitions on each hard drive if I want to have more than four partitions on a hard drive I need to go for uh, a different type of volume I need to go for an extended volume which would be an option available here but maybe Vista doesn't like it in XP it was an option to make an extended volume and then inside that extended volume a uh, a logical volume so hold on let me pause the video and I'm gonna make a couple of volumes and see if I can get the extended option to come up so apparently Windows 7 is not gonna allow me to create a new extended volume uh, I might be able to convert to a dynamic disk but uh looks like Windows 7 took that feature away. Hmm. So apparently all I can have is four volumes on a disk. Well, that's uh the way things are, I guess. Unless they're doing something weird that Ah, it created a logical volume for me by itself. So Vista Windows 7 will do it. Um, this different color box around it means that this is the logical volume and this is actually or this is the extended volume and this bright blue one's the logical volume it's a uh, it's really still four partitions this one this one this one and this big one but it's called a logical volume because it just thinks that they're separate partitions they're not really separate partitions it's just subdividing a partition so uh, in that's what threw me off the first time I've done it in Windows 7. In XP, you would right-click and create a new logical volume or a new extended partition and then create logical volumes inside of it. But uh, hopefully this has taught you a little something about how to make hard drives and how to install new hard drives in your machine. Thank you for watching.